will focus on loading in borehole data into Petrel all at once. It's the bore, the tops of the borehole, so the surface locations of them, it's not the depths within their boreholes, so it's just locations. So what you can do is you can click on home and go to import file or you can go to well engineering and import or so here it's the same. If you come here you'll go to general well Okay, and so here's the import file window, and I've just got to find where I saved mine. Okay, so these were wells that I had in, in Kingdom, and I'm now importing them into Patrol. And this is the file here. I'll show you in a moment what is inside of the file. You can see that it's a .prn format. I previously tried to load CSV, and it was having issues. Um, okay, and this is the error message I get when I try load the CSV file. And you can see here it says on line 2, so I'm starting to read in my data, number of columns is not the same as how many headers I've got. So it's somehow not picking up the different data, um, different data sets. So um, I don't advise using CSV. I'm sure that says it's somewhere in the help that I just haven't seen. So if you go back to general, well, I'm going to load in a PRN and literally how you get a PRN you literally open your CSV and save it as a PRN let me just show you quick okay so this is your CSV file you can see I've got the well name I've got the UWI you can read about this online it's like this unique number that describes the well I don't have that number so I just always repeat what I call my well name here's my X and Y this one's in UTM 35 GL so you're gonna laugh about this um, now, but this is the, gr the elevation at ground level. I can actually only figure out how to input Kelly bushing um, elevations, so um, that needs to be fixed. And then TD is the total depth. So this is the total depth that the borehole gets to. It's important to know because if you're seeing that, like that the borehole is going all the way to the bottom of your seismic section, that's very unlikely. Your borehole is not going to be, uh, excuse me, so deep. So it's good to know where your boreholes end. So that's this column here. So all you would do is go File, Save As. Wait for the Save As window to come up. Here we are. Call it what you want. And then as file type, you're going to go here, yeah, it was on CSV, you literally, the one below says space delimited PRN, and you save it as that. Okay, so I'm going to click here on the PRN file. Okay, and this window comes up, and again, my screen for some reason, the the layout is never nice. So these are the different columns in my PRN file. So the first one is the name of the well, second one is the UWI, third is X, fourth Y, last one datum level. So you can see here datum level um, links to if it's ground level. Ah, oh, wonderful. So oh, sorry, earlier I couldn't click on GL. So um, so is it Kelly Bush and ground level, all these other things, it's your elevation of your borehole, and then TD, like I told you earlier, is total depth. Just to warn you, when this window first came up for me, there were multiple columns. I think they were going up to 12 columns, and I didn't really notice it. And so you have to expand it um, to the right to see the other columns. And so I was always getting this error message saying you've got 12 headers and only six columns of data, it doesn't fit. And I was like, I don't know where all these headers are. So once I expanded it, I could see the other headers and you can just delete the unnecessary ones by clicking here. You select the column and then you delete it. I then added in this TD and so what you do is you click here and it, I can't remember what it was on previously but you can go through all these other options here and I wanted to have TD so I put it here in brackets MD stands for measured depth so the total depth of the borehole um, from zero um, going down the borehole um, okay, so delete unnecessary columns, add in any columns you want. The main thing is here, you have to have the same number of columns that's going to be in your database. I'm going to go here and change my datum level to GL, so ground level, that's my elevations here. I'm not so sure about the other stuff, I leave everything else. And you can see at the bottom, this is what my file looks like. I've got well name, UWI, 
the x value, the y value, my ground level, my elevation, and my total depth. And so you're going to click OK for all, or just OK. OK, and then this next window comes up, and it's what name are you going to give it? Um, I'm just trying to think. Uh, yeah, the name, I didn't change anything. I just, um, so the project is in this coordinate system, and um, what coordinate system is your file in? I'm trying to be consistent if you watch my other videos and all have the same coordinate system, even though you seem to have different options for WGS84 um, zone, UTM zone 35. So I'm just going to do this and choose the one that I'm trying to consistently choose, although I worry about my project one doesn't look the same. Um, so you've opened up this coordinate window, mine always takes forever. Okay, so here's my coordinate window, and I've written down the code for my coordinate system, 32735, and it just finds it. Okay, and you can see this code down here, 32735, I can click on it, it's WGS84 UTM, should be 35 South. See, I worry my project is actually in that one, but I'm trying to do everything to be this one here. So I, I click OK. Um, I don't think it's actually changed, it was probably fine from the beginning, and I click OK for all, and let's scroll down, I did previously have wells in here, so I just want to see if it's doubled up, I think it has doubled up, um, okay, but I should have deleted the other ones first, the main thing to show you here is just how to load in these wells. So I can see here, these are the old ones. Let me see if, it'll, if I can highlight them and I can delete them. And then these are the new wells here. Yes. Okay. And I can just click on wells. I'm in a 2D window and it displays them on screen. So these are the tops of the wells. It's how to load them all in at once instead of having to do them one at a time.